seven, scrub from the feature. <laughs> I come up with a nickname. Uh, come with a dead profile for you. Don't know if you can see the entire map. Uh, but yeah, Cosmic Heroes. Oh, just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we could do that too. I don't give a shit. Uh, Cosmic Heroes. Uh, I've probably seen a billion of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if I'm set it right. Good. It, I'll so, set it on the center of the map, right here. Okay. Put it right here. This is good. All right, sure. Uh, so, Cosmic Hero Grand Hop. We started that out as our starter. Four and zero right now. The Doom is putting Green ability. Uh, I mean, you can play Seed if you want to. Uh, so this guy just totally just makes it. Uh, really cool ability, burst. The main guard is 25,000 or greater. You can rest him and give him plus four, give your Vanguard plus four K. Uh, if it's power is 35,000 or greater, draw a card, counter charge. Really good starter. Really awesome. Use it almost every time you start. Next, of course, gotta, gotta do for your grand beats. Goes to the soul, gives you your grand gallops, plus 5k, plus a draw, it's good stuff, good stuff. Now, my trigger lineups typically are weird, but I love them. Uh, you may not, I don't care. <laughs> uh, so, two more crits to add on to it. I like playing the justices, because why not? Gotta keep all them uh, dimension polices, or the dimensional levels to uh, Play four. Stand. Really helpful. I play two of each. Play two of the new Cosmic Hero uh, Grand Skull. I'll go over first. Uh, not really burst ability, just putting the soul in the Vanguard and another unit plus 4k. Really nice. Really powers up the, uh, powers up the field. Really nice. uh, and two Rekka, they came out way back in the, uh, in the extra booster or pre clan booster, I guess. Uh, if you guys don't know already, uh, active ability, just put it on top of your deck, give your Vanguard plus 4k if it's 37, and shuffle your deck, and then if your Vanguard is, uh, power is 37 or greater, draw a card. Really nice. Draws are real. I like playing two extra draw. Now, when you start thinning out your deck and you haven't seen a draw trigger, it gets a little scary. Um, but if you hit these early game, they're really nice. Really nice. They come in clutch for me. I will say that. And then last, I mean, you can choose whatever heal trigger. I like playing all the Cosmic Hero stuff because, like, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. If I can. Right. So that's the zeros. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go over this real quick. Just get them out of the way. I like, I don't necessarily like. To play Commander Laurel, uh, but you can't tell me that it is not satisfying to hit a Excalibur, quadruple drive, stand them, and quadruple drive again real early in the game. They let you do that. I mean, it's oh my, like you just you're your champion. Won't say you'll win, but you did MLG. <laughs> um, next is Cosmic Hero Grand Lady. Really nice. Uh, for me, I don't, I don't know, maybe for you guys, uh, but for me, my grade ones typically, I, I kind of feel like they're tight in this deck. Uh, but Grand Lady, I like sitting at two because you don't necessarily need more of her. Once she's out on the field, you keep her out on the field, you're good. You know I mean, if you get two of these, that's, that's really all you need. Otherwise, I, I feel like she becomes a little cloggy on the field after at least having one. Uh, having two on the field may be a little unnecessary. Her ability, if you don't know, uh, it is not a generation break ability, so you can use it whenever you want. Uh, rest her and give your Vanguard plus 4k. If your Vanguard has burst, which you have a grade 1 and grade 2 that you have burst, uh, give another unit plus 4k. So yeah, you can use this before grade 3, before stride. Stuff. I like I like seeing more of these skills because it really helps really helps the game to see more abilities to do stuff instead of just vanilla and so you stride. So it really helps. Um, next, I play three. I know a lot of people don't really like playing them because you can if you do play them you got you gotta have you gotta have a lot. Um, or else you have them like two or one. I mean, you're not you are hardly getting an effect out of them. Uh, I'd say three minimum. If you're gonna play them, uh, if you have a oh no, okay, so yeah, uh, when placed on rear guard, 
uh, your Vanguard's power is 15 or more, he gets plus 4k. And then if your Vanguard's power is 30,000 more, choose one of your uh, Vanguard's with Gallop, and then give it plus 4k. So it is a Gallop booster. But typically when you're right, typically at Gallop. And then, you guys all know the Stride Fodder, Gallop Search, you don't really need to go over that for him. And then, I like playing uh, the uh, Cosmic Hero Damage and Flipper. He can actually get a little Counter Blast heavy in this deck, uh, so he does come in clutch later. Uh, but he's helpful. Otherwise, I'm not saying you don't necessarily need your regards, but protecting them isn't as important as getting that damage. So it's really helpful. It's really helpful. Um, and then for grade two, I like playing two sub. He's just really fun. He gives you options. And that's what's best about this is you get options. And that's kind of really what you want. Your opponent starts seeing that you have all these options, all these abilities. You're like, holy cow, I don't know what to guard, what, what, what to do. I mean, what does what? Uh, but yeah, for this guy, once per turn, when he's powered up, uh, if he's 13,000 or greater, give your Vanguard uh, plus 4K. And when it hits, he's there. No, when it just hits, yeah, your opponent retires. So. Really nice. Whatever else you can get, can really help you out. Uh, and came from the uh, extra booster back way back. Uh, also from the extra booster is uh, Grandfire, Cosmic Cube Grandfire. He's the uh, I think I remember that's part of this. They call him another. But anyways, uh, he's when he's boosted, counter blast one, give two years plus one. Real simple. Really uh, that's why I play two. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of why I play both these things because once they're on the field, unless your opponent really gets rid of them or goes aggressively attacking them, I mean, you don't need more. Really. Uh, I like playing three of uh, uh, Grand Revolver. Like I said, or, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Four? I did play four. I was thinking I played three for some reason. Uh, Oh, I know. I, I, I changed a little bit. So I play four for this guy because he's a huge uh, target on the field. So that's why I kind of like him too. One uh, back. But he has the ability to damage on flip. It's really easy when he stride on Gallop. You have his ability. He also has resist. That's something that you don't really see with a lot of these units. And he stays on the field. He, you have to attack him to get rid of him, and that's what's important. Um, those who don't know, counter blast one, get him in another rear guard plus 4k. And then if your Vanguard's uh, power is. If your Vanguard's power is 15, get two units 4k. If your Vanguard's power is 30, it also gets the ability to counter blast. And then lastly, for the twos, I like playing two. Uh, uh, four Grand Drifter. Really nice. I really, uh, cosmetically, I think he's a really cool looking card. Uh, cowboy Robot, why not? Uh, he's the he's the Grimmer Breath clone. Uh, Count of Us 1, Soul Bust 1, Vanguard, and uh, Gallop. He and that Vanguard gets plus 4k, and then when your Vanguard attacks, if it's 40,000 or more, draw a card. Lots of draws. That's kind of what it's all about. Draw, draw, draw. Uh, great threes. I play seven, so I start with three. Uh, Grand Mantle, really fun card. Uh, he's also a Vanguard with Burst. Uh, his ability, Counter Blast One on the rear guard. Uh, Vanguard is fifteen thousand or more. Give him and your Vanguard, uh, or give him plus four K, and then your Vanguard's power is thirty five or more. Give your Vanguard plus four K. Uh, his ability, when placed on Vanguard, Counter Blast One, Soul Blast One, search for a unit with Burst. Really, really good. Glad that they finally got another one besides the, uh, the bazooka one. Um, and then lastly, of course, four of your main guy. Uh, that guy. <laughs> uh, great Cosmic Hero, Grand Gal. Uh, came out in uh, Extra Booster again. His ability, uh, Generation Break 2, when he's 22,000 or more, he gets the ability to triple drive. Uh, really nice. And then uh, his stride ability, give your Vanguard plus 4k automatically. Like, if anything, that's freaking amazing. Just automatic 4k. Uh, and then if it hits, count on you like it? So, I mean, it's just extra. It's, the power is not just the main 
heart. And then for our you like this. Right, I'll go over G Guardians first. Um, well, first we'll get her out of the way. Uh, I play one Sea Breeze, you never know. Um, for those who need to know, you can't have us two and two cards in your hand and discard it. If your opponent has it, right, like when you ride and then they don't ride, so they're trying to stall you at grade two, you just Sea Breeze. Sea Breeze and get your stuff done. Uh, with Prey Elementals, I play. I like to play one dark, uh, one dark element because there are some units that you want to keep on the field. Uh, if you need units on the field, really good help there. Um, basically, can nullify an attack in any regard. Um, and then I don't know where I was going. Uh, and it gives it basically a resist, so it's really good. Cool. And then I play. Oh, I think I got the top spin. No, no. Okay. So I guess I play. I'm not sure I play this one. Okay, yeah, no, that's it. Alright, so yeah, I guess I play one. Patriot? Um, when they're attacking for 20,000 or more, gets plus, plus 5k shield. Really nice. Really simple. And then I play 3 X Caribou. When your opponent's attacking for 30,000 or more, gets plus 10k shield. And then you can discard a card to give your Vanguard to the end of turn plus four. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, really good. Really good stuff. Sorry, got her. Uh, next, I like to play one of uh, Extra. Not necessarily, he's really good in this deck, but he's just he's nice to get off with. He's 37, when he's 37,000 or more, uh, if he hits, draw a card and choose one. Uh, your opponent chooses one of those. And then from the new Fighters collection, uh, this guy's really good. When he's tried on Gallup, it's either Counter Blast one to draw or Counter Blast one to draw. If he's 35,000 or more, uh, if he doesn't hit, you Counter Blast one. So, really nice. Almost there. Almost there. Three of X Tiger. If you don't know what he does, get out. Just stop. No. <laughs> but for real, uh, gets plus four. Basically, a was uh, a plus four case of free by flipping up one. Well, not really. Not counter blast free. Flip up one card. Gets plus four case for boost face up. Uh, not gener uh, generation break two or anything restricted. First stride. Um, really good later game when they you, you know they don't land any perfect guards. Really awesome. Uh, if he's 45,000 or more, he gets plus one. It's really pressure. Really pressure. And then lastly, you have your main. Really good mid game. This is, what, this is your, your mop up. You got four SPs. <laughs> yeah, I do. Four SPs. Um, He's your boy, uh, Super Cosmic Hero X Gala. He's evolved. Uh, a lot going on here. He's your only grade four with the burst. Uh, other, but other than that, uh, he's 35,000 or greater. When he's 35,000, at least, he gets plus one drive. And then when he's uh, 40,000 or more, when you you give your two rear guards, two front rear guards, plus 4k for each face up copy of him, his ability cost is kind of plus one and choose one card face down. Choose one G unit face down and flip it face up. You don't have to flip one of these guys. I typically flip one face up just so I at least have starting getting four. And then after that, if I use them again, I'll just flip something else face up because I already have two of face up. I don't need all of them. I don't need to use all of the So, uh, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, but yeah, that's my deck. You've seen what I have. Uh, build it however you want to. This is what's been kind of working for me. Uh, like I said, Laurel is... You don't have to play Laurel. I, you can deck out. I will say, the warning, if you do play Laurel, you can deck out really fast. Be wise about it. Uh, I play him for fun. He doesn't necessarily clash, or he doesn't really go as well with Cosmic Heroes as he normally does with the rest of uh, Dimension Police. 
but he's still really fun to get off when you do. It's really satisfying to get off a laurel of this. Uh, but be wise about doing it. You'll deck out. You do it twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> but yeah, that's CL7 signing off. Please like and, like and subscribe. It really helps us out. <laughs> Goodbye.